All right, YouTube, welcome back. We did this video a while back, but it didn't come out because the phone wouldn't save it. Let's see if this one works. So here we are with our uh, Sub 2000 Kel-Tec 9mm. Got a CV Life Red Dot. Little grip bipod. We're going to see if we can hit this target down there. It's about 150 yards away. It's a steel plate. I believe it's an 8 inch. We're going to see if we can hit it a couple times. I said just on a red dot, so I don't know how well it'll work. Let's find out. How about it? Put my earplug in. Ready? Got it. Thought you said you sighted that in. Well, I hit it <laughs> once. <laughs> this target ammo is not very good. What ammo is that? It's that synthetic, just target ammo. I didn't sight in on this stuff. I sighted in on this other stuff I got. Can we go ahead and pause that video? You think? And see mm -hmm. if we can try some of the other ammo. Yeah. All right, so we're back. This is called the American Sniper. It's just some basic ammo, but it's decent. It's similar load on each one. They seem to fire about the same. It's a 124 grain, which I like the heavier ones. That synthetic stuff, I'll show you. It's a 70 grain, so it's real light, and it's got like a synthetic outside. I want to say steel on the inside, but it's a small little bullet. Not as accurate, long ways away. You want the heavy to keep a consistent, decent group. So this is what I actually sighted in on was this stuff. I just was shooting that for fun, and I could hit it here and there. But so you cock this back like that, opens your chamber up, and you can just smack that with your hand, and it pops it in. It's pretty cool, I think. So let's sit down and uh, try this one more time. See if there's a difference on this ammo. Ready? Ready. one that was on me but that just goes to show you if you sight into the ammo you're going to use and you fire that ammo consistently it should be accurate now if i sight in on other stuff maybe it'd be better but i don't think it would be because that ammo just kind of junk but if you buy some heavy bullets they're a little more accurate out of these well, what do you guys think Caltech sub 2000 Ugh. 9mm CV Life Red Dot. They're cheap. I love them. One of the best cheap ones you can get, I think. Put a little muzzle brake on there. The barrel's getting a little warm. I like that. But yeah, overall, really, really good gun. I love it. I think we want to buy another one down the road. But, For me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might have got something today. A little heritage 22 long rifle or 22 mag take it out and try show that one. another day i shot a couple times you take I like it out it. and show one 
You want to show them? Yeah. It's a little cute gun. This one, no. You do a review on this down the road. Heritage. Comes with the extra cylinder. Anyways. And then we need to do a little review on our Wildcat 22, I think, also. Let me get that one out and show you real quick. It's like the River 1022. I like it. Anyways, this is gun review so far. That one was first. Might do this one next. And save that one for the last when I get some ammo for both so we can try out both cylinders. Anyways, I think that'll do it for now. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.